Now the second part with the line review. Let's. I'm gonna. We're gonna make some graphic organizers pretty quick. If you have the first thing. First off, if you have slope and y-intercept, you are going to instantly go to y equals mx plus b. Now, so that's one. Two. If you have a point and a slope, we're going to go to the point slope equation. Which is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And if you have, for your third one, if you have two points, if you start with two points, here's what you're going to do first. You're going to go with the slope equation, which is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you got to calculate slope first. See this guy, you have a slope. So we're able to go with the slope and we have the point. This guy, we don't have a slope. So we have to calculate a slope. And then we go here. Then you go to the point slope equation. So with two points, we're going to first calculate a slope, and then we're going to go to the slope equation. If it's point-slope, we just go right to the slope equation. Now, if if we need the equation in y equals mx plus b form, There's going to be a couple things that you're going to do right away. Distribute the slope over x minus x1. So that's the first step that you're going to actually work at. You're going to distribute, like what we did up here, we distributed the 2 to the x minus 1, so it was 2x minus 1. Here we distributed the 14 over x minus 7. That was the first step that we always took. The first step is always that distributive step. The second step, Add or subtract the minus y1 part of the equation from both sides. So that's part two. So you when we have the equation y minus y1 is equal to like, say, um, you have mx plus some number c, you're going to add that y1 to both sides. 
So that's really what's going on there. Now, if it's if that ended up being negative, you'd subtract the number from both sides. But if it ended up being positive, you add it to both sides. And then you just go ahead and add those equations up. And then that's going to give you y equals mx plus b. So sometimes you're going to be all you're, you're going to be just fine staying here, but as soon as you have to get into y equals mx plus b form, you're going to be up here, and you have to be up, and that's what's going to happen. If there's always going to be a distributive step first, and then you're going to subtract or add the y value to move it from the left hand side to the right hand side because you want you want y equals, you want it into that function form. So you're going to have that.